Last time I saw General Peck was on 9 February of last year. Um, he had uh, aged quite uh, extensively, but his, his wits were quite acute and uh, we had a nice conversation. And it was heartening to see him in that way. And uh, I still remember uh, those moments. Uh, many of you have mentioned how he had an excellent memory of how his ability to uh, relay stories of many decades before, like it was yesterday. So I enjoyed those moments with him as well. Uh, when I took command of the Special Forces, I paid a visit to him, as well as when I became a division commander. Among the many stories, I think two stories for me are appropriate for this, uh, this gathering. The first one was when he became the chief of staff of the army. He said that he was only 30 years old and he was scared. And so one of the things that he did was he went to see uh, Matthew Ridgway and tell him that uh, the Rock Army has made me the, the Rock government has made me the chief of staff. And General Ridgway said, you know, Peck, I know you're doing your best, uh, keep it up. And those words uh, gave him a lot of moral strength to do what was uh, right. And then uh, General Ridgway told him, there will be moments when you have to make decisions and don't put them off. Whether it's the right decision or it's the wrong decision, uh, that, that result will come out later, but make a decision, that is important. And I think for me, as I was becoming a division commander and as the SF commander, his, uh, his, his antidote about his uh, inhibitions about becoming a commander, of taking so much uh, responsibility, and what General Ridgway told him are those things that I always kept in mind. The second story that I really enjoyed hearing from him was the story about Admiral Ali Burke, so General Beck tells me that he was in Washington, D.C. He was trying to negotiate with the United States. And late at night, after about 9 or 10, uh, his hotel room uh, door is being knocked. He opens the door, and there's Admiral Ali Burke. And the, the Admiral comes in and says, uh, Sonia, tomorrow when you meet with President Eisenhower, tell him you want a mutual defense treaty. General Beck was surprised and he said, how can I ask the president to, for a mutual defense treaty? And the admiral said, ask him, you know, you never know what will happen. So, you know, uh, these two stories tell me the relationship that General Beck had, that the Rock Army had with the United States and how great American general officers and Americans helped the South Koreans build the army of today. And we should never forget these uh, lessons that he taught us. Finally, I think the greatest legacy that General Peck has given us, even, in his, even today as he has passed away, is that he has brought all of us together at this moment. Because of him, uh, there were many instances where we were, we, the Iraq and US, Alliance has been able to come together, uh, talk about things, reminisce about old, you know, old challenges, leading us to answers for future challenges. And ladies and gentlemen, you all know that we have a big challenge right now on the peninsula. Uh, many, many uh, uh, facets of challenges. Uh, I think that we need to remember the wisdoms and the c courage of our predecessors, both General Beck's and uh, the other gentlemen uh, and ladies who supported us and keep that spirit alive in tribute to General Beck. Thank you.